Experiment to estimate the concentration of free chlorine in swimming pool water or bleach using a comparator method. In this experiment, we will measure the amount of free chlorine in swimming pool water. There are two ways of measuring the amount of free chlorine. In the first method, we will use a simple test kit such as the hack test kit. As well as the hack test kit, we will also need a chemical called DPD to help us to measure the amount of chlorine present in swimming pool water. You need not worry about knowing any details about this chemical or how it reacts with chlorine. Just be aware of the fact that when this chemical and other chemicals are added to the water containing chlorine, they react with the chlorine in the water to give a pink coloured solution. The more chlorine that is present in the solution, the pinker the colour. The intensity of the pink colour is then compared against the colour disc with different shades of pink. Because we are comparing colours, this method is often called the comparator method. This colour disc in the hack test kit has already been calibrated using solutions containing known quantities of chlorine. Hence, by visually comparing the pink colour of the swimming pool water with the pink colour on the disc, the concentration of chlorine in the water may be estimated. 5 cm cubed of deionized water has been placed in one of the colour viewing tubes, which are similar to small test tubes. The level of the water will now just be below the frosted part of the glass in the tube. The stopper has been placed on the tube. This is called the reference tube and its purpose is simply to indicate to us how much light will be absorbed by this depth of water. Open the black coloured comparator box and place the tube with the clear water in the top left hand opening. Note that the level of water is just above the circular opening through which the light passes. 5 cm cubed of the swimming pool water has been added to the other viewing tube and a DPD tablet was also added. A pink coloured solution is obtained. Place the second sample tube in the right top opening of the comparator box. Remove the colour disc from its plastic protection cover and place it in the comparator box as shown. Close the lid of the comparator box. Hold the comparator box up to a source of white light, for example, a lamp or a window, and view the two openings in the front of the box. Rotate the disc it protrudes slightly at the right hand side of the box until the colours in each opening match, that is, until the two colours are the same. Immediately read the number visible through the opening at the bottom of the comparator box. This gives the value of chlorine dissolved in the water in units of milligrams per litre or ppm. When finished, return the colour disc to its envelope. This envelope helps to protect the colours on the disc from fading. This concludes the experiment.